Other considerations. While every development process involves iterating on designs and revisiting the user experience in response to testing and feedback, the iterative development process takes many forms. For some, it's linear, a methodical and deliberate approach based on research and testing. Others might use a more exploratory approach, relying partly on intuition, prototyping many different ideas to see which one works best. The iterative development process might work differently for a solo developer than for a team effort. Commercial grade apps often involve many teams working together. Think about how a large project could be broken into smaller projects and how multiple design processes might intersect. Perhaps some teams could focus on specific features like accessibility and artwork, while others focus on technical solutions. Consider, consider the dynamics of a large team project. How might smaller project teams know when it's important to come together and when to work separately? Which teams might choose a deliberate linear approach versus an exploratory approach? How would they manage and reconcile their different styles of iterative development? Can you think of any team roles or responsibilities that would help minimize bias and harm in the development and design process?